March 3rd. Hey, Dennis, how are you? How was your day today, Dennis? Hello? Hello. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. I have uh, trouble with my internet and microphone. Ah. Okay. Right now. No problem. No problem, Dennis. It's okay. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. Sure. 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 Hey, Jesse, how are you? I am fine, teacher. I am here again. Hey, that's great. I am enthusiastic for learning more. That's wonderful. Than yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> teacher, uh, what means, what does mean this verb, manufacture? It means to fabricate. Fabricate. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. When you manufacture, okay. the pronunciation is manufacture. Manufacture. Correct. Manufacture. Ah, es que en la plataforma no han puesto manufacture y ya le busqué el lado del pas pares y pues no lo encuentro y no me, no me agarra. It's only with a D, manufactured. Manufacture. Así lo puse y no me lo acepta, pero ya voy a revisar después qué será. Ok. In the, in the 1.9 or the 1.9. One point nine. One point nine. I have I have three that uh, are incorrect. I don't know. Maybe the writing. I know. I think. If no, I will tomorrow tell you. Ah uh, I see. I see. Number ten. Uh, uh, no my uh, in my case. Or that number one point nine. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, one point nine. Yes, yes, 1 .9 the, the sentence number ten. Ah, okay. Let me check. I think. Let me check. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, the sentence uh, five and eight and nine. Okay. And ten. Yeah. Okay. I try this many times. One point nine. Venga. Give me one second. I'm going to put. Uh, I'm going to send the email to correct that way they can correct it. One uh, number five. Uh, I have number five, number eight, number nine, and number ten. See number eight. It's okay. Number nine. It's okay. Only number ten is not correct. Okay. Ah, okay. Maybe number, then... number 10 is not correct. The, the writing is not correct. It's mm -hmm. not correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other ones, they are very good, I think. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, it's my problem. I yeah. I will check tomorrow. Don't tell me, please. <laughs> no, no. Don't worry. I'm not. If you know, I am very lazy. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. It's everybody. Everybody has the same idea. Yes, because I need to find the mistake and I, so I can learn more. If not, mm -hmm. I need to answer before that, then, uh, before that I am tried. This is, the, that's the important. Yeah. That, that you try uh, first and then you try. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? No, in my case. Thank you so much. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? No. No, teacher. Okay. Okay, well, good. That means that that's excellent. Do you understand the passive and we have no questions uh, from the reading, 
or from the vocabulary. So that's excellent. Um, today we're going to begin and we're going to be taking a look at the idea between the past simple and the past continuous. In the WhatsApp group, I sent you um, some information, some, some images about the topic for today. But the first is, what for you is the difference between the past continuous and the simple past? What do you remember is the difference between a past continuous and a simple past? No, no one remembers. Excuse me, teacher. I have my microphone on off. Ah, no problem, no problem. Okay, uh, maybe the difference is um, the action. The okay. action, for example, in past continuous is, um, I, don't, I don't know, maybe it's um, um, action that I did in in the in in cierto uh, tiempo at a certain time certain time yes and a simple past is a current past in finishing past okay okay well that's a good idea so the simple past is the idea that the action is finished. The action is completed at a time in the past. And the past continuous is that the action was one of two things. One, the action was not completed for a long period of time. Or uh, two, the other, another action interrupted okay, or stopped the original action. We are going to begin today with unit two. In unit two, we are going to see the ideas and we're going to be able to compare the from past simple and pa sorry from past continuous and simple past okay in order to do this we're going to see first a small video of how we use the past continuous and the simple past hi everyone are you ready Let's go on now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay there in the explanation and take notes. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take notes on the following. We have these two words, while 
and when, while it is usually used with past continuous, and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous, and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, Last week I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. Okay. So, let me go back a little bit so we can see. Time in the... Okay. The important, when do we use the simple past and when do we use the past continuous? Well, the first one is the simple past is for the actions that started and finished in the past. And that's the ones that we usually use with ED if they are regular or just a simple past like ate or went if it's irregular, okay? Now, you can see those are the structures, but let's take a look at the idea for the past continuous. It's important because the past continuous we use in more than one situations, okay? So we can use for one, something that is not completed or unfinished, or number two, something that was interrupted by another activity, okay? So, uh, I was reading a book. That means I was reading a book yesterday means I did not finish the book, as an example, okay? Or I can use, I was reading a book when the phone rang. That means that I didn't finish and the action of the phone ringing interrupted. Those are the two actions that we have. One is for the action is in the past and the other action, sorry, one is in the past, but not complete. And the other is for the another action interrupted. How do you know the difference? Well, normally is similar to Spanish. We know the difference because we have things that are routines or things that are done. I ate dinner, I went to work, I brushed my teeth. These are the simple past. They are done. It's many times part of the routine. But when we have something in a specific time or a specific situation is normally the ING. So think, for example, today at 12 o'clock. Ah, this is specific time at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, I was working, I was eating lunch, I was watching TV, because it's for something at a specific time in the past. It's not complete at that time, right? Now, the difference is also remember that another action can interrupt. I was watching TV when the pizza came or when the pizza was delivered. The pizza delivered interrupt me watching the TV. To help us understand, we're going to practice a little bit between the past continuous and the simple past. With our partners, we're going to try exercises 2.2, okay? We're going to do 2.2, and this is the first activity I'll show you in this moment, so it's clear. This is the 2.2, okay? So what we're going to do is, with your partners, you're going to read and answer all the questions. But 
here in question num in all of the questions you have to select two words you have to choose two of them if you think it was snowboarding and broken you pick if you think it was uh snowboarded and broke you select okay if you think it was snowboarding and broke you select is your choice but for each sentence you have to select two one is going to be for the past continuous and one is going to be the simple past okay that is the first activity the second activity we're going to do is practice asking and answering questions in the past we make questions in the past with did so for example i say Joel, what did you do today dennis what did you have for lunch jesse where did you go rodrigo uh, what did you watch on tv yesterday doris what did you do uh last week whatever you want okay so two activities one we are going to complete the platform 2.2 and number two we are going to practice asking and answering questions in the past it's okay yes it's okay yes teacher all right let's begin Doris, are you okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, if you have this the screen now in your computer. Si tiene la pantalla abierta. La plataforma. Hola, perdón, Hola. tengo problemas con mi micrófono. Ah, ok, no hay problema. Ok, gracias. ¿Tiene la pantalla abierta? ¿De la plataforma? Sí, sí. Ok, voy a intentar compartirla un segundo. Yo la tengo, pero no sé cómo se comparte. Uh, uh, solo que tiene sí. que hacer... Solo tiene que hacer clic en un botón que aparece en una barra en la parte inferior de la, de la sesión. Ah, sí, es cierto. Share screen sí. es. Sí, share screen. I forgot. I'm sorry. Let me check. Ok. Uh, here. Uh, share. Let me check. Share. Eh, la mira. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, eh, parece que hay alguien más ahí con nosotros. Okay. Um, no puedo verla a ella. Okay, Doris. Doris. Okay. Doris. Doris Jaime Torres. Okay. Entonces Hi, somos good tres. Night. Good night. Hello. Good night. We are three people, I think. Okay. Yes. Who starts? And the professor too. Professor. Uh -huh. Ah, for <laughs> no, eh, eh, eh. who starts with the number one? Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe all try to answer um, any or oh, every uh, questions or I don't know. Um, uh, literals. Okay, it's no problem. Uh, I can do the first. If you want. Okay, no problem, yes. Okay. I think, I am not sure, but let me check. My okay. brother, my brother was snowboarding. snowboarding. Mm -hmm. Was snowboarding yes. when he broke him. Mm, yes. Maybe oh, he no. broke. He broke. I, okay. When he broke out, just the score because it's, like it's the simple pass. Okay, the second. Can... 
Who did the second? Who does the second? I was having. Mm -hmm. I was having. Problems with math. I so I... But you got it. So don't worry. Number five. What what is all right all right? What is that? A name. Yes, yes maybe there is okay. a place on oh I don't uh, know. What a weird name, but okay. Um okay. Ulrich was reading a good book, but someone told her the ending right yes was cooking in rank okay okay next well yes a moment well tracy and eric meet when they work at the same restaurant. Uh, tra wait, tracing wait, you're, it. you're missing one. Yes, sorry. You don't, you don't number six. Oh, oh, yes. While my brother was cooking dinner last night, the phone ran three times. Was cooking in RAM. Yes, 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 that's right. Um, number seven. Tracy and Eric was meeting when they worked at the same restaurant in Vancouver. Uh, I I have met 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 um, and then would be. We're working. Yes, right? met, met and we're working. We're working. Okay, yes. let me see. Yeah, you were right. But I but I failed the number six while my yeah. while my mother uh, was cooking. Okay. Yes. Let me see. Okay. Yes, is was cooking a ram. Yes, yes, I got it. I got it now. So we finished. And now, what? Yes. We're done. And now what are you going to do? Thank you. The, the sentences, I, I think. Correct. Now you are going to ask and answer questions in the past tense. Yes. So what, did you, what, what did you do this morning, Joel? Really? Was cooking. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, no problem. Okay. Try. Tracy and Eric uh, was meeting. No, was meeting. No. Ahí se ocupa primero el, el pasado y después el ing. Where, el ing. Uh -huh. Como que ellos se conocieron cuando yes, ellos when trabajaban they, en el they, mismo restaurante. Was, was, sería yeah. were meeting, porque es en plural, were, ¿verdad? Were uh, working. We're working. We're working. Mm -hmm. ah, Porque está mm -hmm. hablando de ellos. Mm -hmm. Tracy, Eric, we're, we're working. working. Mm -hmm. Y ese meet. Es el pasado de los meet. 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 They worked. No. Okay. No. The first is met. Met. Ah, the first. 
uh, is second, where work. Where work. Ah, okay. Yes, Scar. Tracy okay, and Eric so. met when they were working. We're working Igual en la tercera. La tercera. La voy a mostrar porque, ajá. Sí, sí. Yo la dije como the couple had. Siempre the ocupo couple. primero el pasado oh, y okay. después el, el ahí en ti. The couple, couple had. 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 Uh, their first child when they were living. Yes, score, because the couple, uh, the couple living. had, si tenían, es cierto, la, mm -hmm. la pareja tenía el primer child. Tuve el primer hijo cuando, ah, ok. Ellos yes, estaban viviendo. Eh, were living. Really? Mm -hmm. Ok, es cierto. Try to send the answer. <coughs> That's right. Yes. Are they right? right? Sent. Sent. Okay. Yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> sí, very, bien, very thank nice. you so much. Very nice. <laughs> okay. But um, let me check. Okay. No lo puedo ver. Y ahora para cerrar, para verlos a ustedes, ¿cómo hago? Tiene ah, que darle en medio, a, dejar de compartir. Arriba, en la, en la aparece una barra y dice stop sharing. Ah, uh, está share. Ya, ya, ya. Hoy sí. Yes, Oscar, I see you. Ok. Hi, teacher. Hi. We finished. Uh -huh. And now what are you going to do? I don't uh, know. Practice, maybe. Home, home, homework, the second task. Oh, remember. Or, or practice. Remember. Oh, the second time is uh, uh, try to uh, make answer, Ooh. question and answer with simple parts. Correct. Yes. Ah. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, uh, teachers say, oh, hold on. Uh, Teacher, how, how do you say dijo? Said. S said? Said. Okay. The, the teacher said um, when we uh, made some questions, for example, uh, Jesse, um, what did you yesterday or last week or Um, why I was taking a shower in the morning or yesterday when my phone rang? Es así. No. No, no. Ahí sí me confundí, pero explíquemelo. You, <laughs> que, have, que... you have to listen to the question. So, because he, he said last week. Ah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Last week. Okay. Ah, uh, talk, talking Dennis, in past. Dennis, repeat the question. What did you uh, the last week? Is what correct, did, teacher? No. What did you do? Correct. What did, what you, did do? you do the last the week? Last, uh -huh. What did ah, you do? Okay. Not that. What did you do last week? What did you ah. do last week? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. <clears throat> okay. I did. Well, I bought to the I bought at the supermarket. Um, I cooked for my family. I watched some movies in my home. Uh, I was I was um, watching some TV series. Okay. Yes. Well, the, the question is, Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, Alejandro, I can hear you. Yes, okay. I can. Um, Whatever. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm late. I have some problems. Um, that's because I am late. No problem. 
Well, uh, basically, um, I went to work. I went to um, uh, visit uh, my mother. And I stay. Um, I, I don't know how they, they say estuve. I was. has. I was. I was. Oh, okay. I was uh, in my my home. Okay. Well, oh, and That's... in the week in the weekend. In the weekend. Okay, that sounds good. No, in my case, I didn't do anything special because I stayed at home. Yes. Ah well, I I went to give my vote for the uh, for for the party. How do, I I don't know how do you say. ¿Cómo se puede decir la fiesta de votar algo así? The party's vote. The, no, voting, or, the voting party. Ah, the voting party. Mm -hmm. Ah, and I let me check another things that I did. Um, no, I'm be honest, I did anything special, <laughs> okay. just that, because I didn't have money for spending a lot of money. <laughs> no. Okay, teacher, I have a question. Yeah, Dennis. Uh, well, really all, all, all us, mm -hmm. uh, is about, um, uh, verb live in the past, simple past, live it. How Live. Lived. 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 Okay. Lived. Yes. Uh, it's about, uh, the pronunciation no, of the verb. D. Let no. lived. Or lived. 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 No, not T. Not T. D. Lived. 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 Okay. And uh, Jesse, what is the other verb? Ah, oh, let me check. I don't remember. Lived. Uh, I don't know if Dori remember. Dori remember. Um, Do you remember the? Uh, remembered. Let me check. Let me check the screen. Okay. The pantalla. Screen. Ah, uh, was wrong. Wrong. It, it's, no. It was wrong. No. Is other verb uh, in past with ed. Uh, realized, 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 realized. It's, Correct. It's, realized. It's realized. It's yes. called letter D. Lived with D. In, Correct. In realize. Realize. Okay. Thank you so much. Realized. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Hi, we come back again. Yeah, we're back again. Okay. So we're understanding a little bit about how to use the past continuous and the simple past. Remember that the big difference is that the past continuous is for the action that is not complete or the action that is interrupted. As an example, in this moment, you are listening or you are participating in the class and maybe someone calls you or someone uh, talks to you or someone knock on the door. This is going to be the simple past. You can say, uh, I was in class. I was listening to the class. I was participating in the class. I was speaking English, whatever you want with ING. And then the other activity with ED or the other activity of the regular the past simple. When uh, my mom called me, when the phone rang, uh, when the, whatever you want in the simple past. Okay. 
the important is also for the questions. When you make questions, it's always obligation, the verb. It's not possible, did you uh, yesterday at work or did you last week? It's always necessary an activity. Did you go to work? Did you eat? Uh, did you cook? Did you uh, write? Did you watch TV? All but the verb is in the simple past, okay? So always we use the auxiliary for the past, but the verb is normal. The verb we do not change. Any questions, Rodrigo? Only we, we use W questions, right? Only we use the what questions, Rodrigo? That we use W questions in that sentences I uh, want to say. We can use both. You can use both. You can say, for example, did you did you eat pupusas yesterday? Or you can say, what did you eat yesterday? Yes, correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. This is the idea for the simple past. Okay. And you answer depending on the situation with ED, the simple past, or with ING. Now we are going to continue and we're going to look at the topic of adverbs. Do you know what are adverbs? Does anybody have an idea of what are adverbs? Adverbs. Adverbs. Yes, adverbs. Uh, uh, yes. Usually. Usually. Uh, okay. Yeah, so let's see, let me help you a little bit. So adverbs are the idea that answer the question how, how an action is done or how an action is completed. So in the chat, for example, we have the word, the sentence, I walk, okay? How do you walk? Ah, then we can add, I walk slowly, okay? Or you can put, I walk, it may be quickly, okay? Or if you are in, maybe in Canada, oh, then you have to walk, maybe you walk carefully. Right? So it depends, but the idea is that the adverbs explain how you do the action. This is for to help us understand what are the adverbs. We use the adverbs like adjectives. Adjectives describe the person, the place, or the thing. For example, a black table, a beautiful car, an intelligent person, uh, the different things. The adverb has the same function. The adverb is to describe the action, okay? I cook, how do you cook? I cook deliciously, I cook wonderfully, I cook amazingly, I cook quickly, I cook slowly, I, quick, I, I cook badly, whatever you want. These are the ideas. We are going to watch a small video about adverbs and how to use them. And then uh, we will practice the pronunciation and I will explain a little bit more. Okay. Here we go. Sadly. Hi, this time we'll talk about some adverbs which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, Miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Now that you have listened and decided which ones were positive, negative, and neutral, we want you to complete the following statements with those adverbs so you can come up with creative sentences.
Teacher, you are mute. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know why, but okay. Uh, I was saying that first, we need to do two things. One, we need to make sure that you understand those words. And two, we need to make sure that you can pronunciate the words correctly. So first, do you understand all of those adverbs? Do you understand that vocabulary? Yes, uh, I understand yes. the meaning. Hmm. And for everyone else, it's okay or no? Yes. Yes, it's, it's okay. Clear. It's okay. Okay, perfect. Then we're going to practice the pronunciation. I am going to pronunciate one more time so you can hear what are the correct ways to say those words. Okay. Coincidentally. Coincidentally. Fortunately. Fortunately. Luckily, luckily, miraculously, miraculously, sadly, sadly, strangely, strangely, suddenly, suddenly, surprisingly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unexpectedly, unfortunately, Unfortunately, would anybody like to try practicing pronunciating those words? Uh, me, teacher. Okay, Jesse. Okay. Coincidentally, for tonight, for for tonight, okay. luckily. One moment, Jesse. No puedo. Okay, okay. No, no, that's why we practice. Relax. That's why we practice, Jesse. Okay. Coincidentally. Coincidentally. Excellent, Jesse. Fortunately. Fortunately. Okay, continue, Jesse. Luckily. Luckily. Mira. Miracles. No, repeat. <laughs> Miraculously. Uh, miraculously. No, no, no. Miraculously. Miraculously. Correct. Miraculously. Miraculously. Sadly. Mm -hmm. Strangely. 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 Mm -hmm. Suddenly. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Unexpectedly. Okay. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay, very good. Excellent. Would anybody else like to try? Yes, teacher, me. Okay, Nuria. Could you repeat the first one, please, teacher? Yes. I would like to hear that. Coincidentally. Okay. Coincidentally. Fortunately. Luckily. Miraculously. Sadly. Strangely. Suddenly. Surprisingly. Unexpect unexpectedly, unfortunately. Okay, very good, Nuria. Thank you. Anybody else? Uh, me. Okay, Alejandro. Coincidentally, fortunately, no, luckily. No, no, no. Oh. Fortunately. Fortunately. Mm -hmm. Luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely. Suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. <laughs> <¿Cómo que será? laughs> unfortunately. Or unfortunately. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Anyone else? Me. Okay, well, Rodrigo. Co coincidentally, fortunately, luckily. Miraculous, miraculously, I, I Mir know. miraculously, miraculously, mm -hmm. suddenly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, and unexpectedly, unfortunately. Okay, very good, Rodrigo. The last one is unfortunately. 
unfortunately. Good, good. Okay. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Okay, Juan. Um, coincidentally, mm -hmm. fortunately, luckily, mm -hmm. my Raku, Mira, Mira, or Myra? No, Mi miraculously. Okay, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Very good. Thank you, Joel. Very good. Anyone else or is that everyone? Me, teacher. Okay, Dennis. Okay. Um, maybe you start with coincidentally. Yes, that is correct. Is the correct? That is correct. Yes. Coincidentally. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. The first one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Coincid coincidentally. Uh, fortunately. For, fortunately. Fortunate, fortunately. Fortunately. Mm -hmm. Fortunately. Luckily. Miraculously. Sadly. Strangely. Suddenly. Surprisingly. Unexpectedly and unfortunately. Okay, very good. Excellent. Anyone else or is that is that it? Okay. All right. Well, now what we're going to do is in our groups, we're going to practice making a sentence with each of those words. So as an example, I make the sentence with coincidentally. My partner makes the sentence with the next word, fortunately. Now, remember, how do we use it? First, we put the action. Remember, it answers the question, how something happens. How is the activity? Okay. So, we want to practice. We have about 10 minutes. It's enough to think and to use the sentences correctly. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Joel. Teacher. Uh, can you share that presentation one more time just to take one screenshot and then in the group I will share it. I think it's because in the I didn't... Or, or it's not in the WhatsApp group. Mm, let me I, see. I think it's or no. Okay, okay. I'm not sure, but I, I will check it. Let me check right now just to be sure. I put one more time. It's not a problem. There. It's in the WhatsApp group also, but I share in case you want to take a screenshot. Uh, it, it's there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. You're you're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So remember, the idea is with your partners, you make, you use all of those words in sentences. Okay. So you use the word strangely, suddenly, fortunately, all of those words, you're going to use them in sentences. Okay, teacher. All right, let's make our groups. Uh, if you want, I'm going to share the the the, yes, the exercise. Okay, uh, Alejandro, do you have the picture? Mm, that is. Okay, thank you. Okay, <laughs> I can see that. I can't see that. You can see that? Uh, no, I, I'm not sure. Teacher, um, we have a question, teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, Jesse has to tell me the, the, the adverb and I have to answer uh, the question using the adverb. No, no, no. You are only going to make sentences using the oh. adverbs. 
So Jesse, okay. Jason makes one sentence. You make one sentence, Jesse. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. I did. I I did the the question, Jesse. <laughs> I okay. said this share. Uh, unfortunate. Fortunately, I win the lottery. Good. Okay. Good, Nuria. Um, I. Puedo usar el pasado. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ah, Pre okay. Past, future. Mm -hmm. While I was. Mm, while I was taking a shower in the morning, mm -hmm. I suddenly hear a noise. Good. That's the idea. Very good. Oh, okay. I got it now. Yes. Um, let me see. Strangely. Strangely, I love the heat. Well, yesterday, suddenly I lost the internet connection. Suddenly, right? Yes, okay. suddenly. Yeah. Okay, I got it, I got it. Um, surprisingly, my mother bought me a bicycle. Yes. Well... I was unexpectedly about my my last test. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Yes. Um, the last the last one is unfortunately. Unfortunately, I suck speaking French. Really? That yes. French is it's complicated. Yes, that's right. Okay. So we're done. Well, are there any words that uh, you're not sure about? All of those are okay? That's crystal clear for me, teacher. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Yes, I got it too, I think. Thank you. Okay, so good. So the idea is really, what we want to see is that we can use different adverbs. Here are some, but we can use any adverb that we want to describe a story. So with your partners, do you see the picture that is there? Yes. yes. Okay, so with your partner, now you are going to create a story. What do you think? It, let me give you, let me share the screen again because I think you are missing part of the picture. So I, I think you are missing a little bit of the picture there. Okay. Let me show you one more time so you can see. And then you have a better, take a better screenshot. Do you, okay. do you see? Yes, yes, there it is. Okay, okay. I got it. All right, perfect. So now with your partners, you're going to think of what happened. You're going to describe what could happen in, the, in that picture. What do, exactly, that's better. That's better, the picture. So with your partner, you create a story. Uh, you are you are doing like the instructions. You are using the words in, in storytelling. It's not necessarily those words, but you can, the idea is for you to use verbs, use adjectives, use description yes. to tell a story about the picture, okay? Teacher, I, I got a question. Yeah. For you, uh, above the adverbs, mm -hmm. uh, it's necessary that they have to finish in Li. No, it's, it's, no. it's common that they finish in Li, but it's not an obligation. We have it's some- not, It's not a rule. No, 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 no. It's, okay, just, okay. it's just common for many of them to normally finish in Li. Because okay, okay. the you. idea is that the adverbs comes from the adjectives. So for example, the adjective is strange. Right? Yes. And yes. so the adverb is right. strangely. Strangely. For example, I am careful. Right. This is an adjective. Carefully. I am exactly. So yeah, so okay, is it. mm -hmm, is not is not always, but is is common, is is the common form. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you so much. You're, you're welcome. So now with your partner, go ahead and create a story for the pictures. Okay. Uh, miraculously can be used like 
miraculously. 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 Maybe when you cross the, the road or the street and you say the uh, the accident or whatever and you maybe you uh, te salvaste milagrosamente you saved it miraculously okay pretty good pretty good Dennis you saved your life miraculously yes yes good good also sadly the next mm -hmm. I think I feel sadly today because I lost Sadly. my dad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yes. It's but, really? Sadly. It's true? But it's not correct, Alejandro. Yes, it's really. <laughs> that, that's... Okay, no, it's not correct, but, but it's true. It's true history. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, it, it's, it's a true history, but it's not correct. The, the reason it's not correct is because I feel is an adjective. I feel happy. I feel sad. Oh. I feel angry. No, I feel sadly. So you need okay. to use sadly for an action, for an activity. For an mm -hmm. Next week, to the to the Cancun, for example. Wow. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, teacher. Yes, yes. Please, please uh, tell us, uh, tell us uh, uh, Albert difficult. The, uh, el, curiously, no, curiously, ay, no lo puedo mencionar, lo tengo que repetir bastante veces. The, curiously. Co coincidentally? No, con, ay, pues sí, todos ustedes no me los puedo mencionar. Coincidentally. Coincidentally. Uh, coincidentally, I met with my best friend in, at Metro Centro yesterday. Yes, 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 that could be correct. That is correct because it's not planned. It's coincidentally. Coincidentally. Mm -hmm. Yes. Teacher, what does it mean, story, storytelling? It means to uh, create or say in your own words what happened. To create a story. This is storytelling. Uh, storytelling. Mm -hmm. Storytelling. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm, uh, okay. Nuria. Nuria said that uh, uh, she. Uh, fortunately, she went. She won a lottery. She won the lottery. The lottery. Eh, hey, lo ting, lo ting. All right. <laughs> That's the key, lo ting. Yeah, teacher. The what, Nuria? Si existe Lotin todavía? Does Lotin exist? I don't know. I never play, but I remember Lotin. <laughs> I think yes, because I see the people in the street. I see the people. Yes, Lotin, yes, exist. Lotin. At ah. Metro Centro, someone said. Okay. So we have the idea of adjectives, adverbs, now that is better. It's similar to the adjectives, but the adverbs are for verbs and the adjectives are for nouns. And we have the idea for the past continuous and the simple past. Okay, so we are going to pause right there and tomorrow we are going to continue practicing. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, have a good night. Have a good night. night. Too. Good night. Okay. Tomorrow. Good night. Well. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.